wick, solder wick, desoldering wick, solder braid, or desoldering braid. All of these names refer to the same thing. This is a braided copper wire that helps in removing unwanted solder from printed circuit boards. It is commonly used to correct solder bridging, or for any other reason that solder needs to be removed from solder pads. Wick is relatively inexpensive and simple to use, compared to other methods of solder removal. Next we will demonstrate how to use solder wick for removing extra solder form PCB pads. We will briefly discuss the necessary steps for efficient use of solder wick in disordering process. So watch video till end. Start this informative tutorial. If you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel to have access to best learning tutorial. Also comment, like, and share. Solder wick is used by everyone from massive printed circuit board factories, all the way to beginning engineers and hobbyists. Solder wick is designed for today's heat sensitive electronic components using lighter mass, pure copper braid construction that allows for better thermal conductivity, even at low temperatures. Solder wick is ideal to use when you need to get as much solder off as possible for a bridged joint, and still leave sufficient on the component footprint that is required. The solder wick can be used in conditions, like after desoldering of IC and replacing it with a new one. When a faulty IC is desoldered from a PCB, then the pads usually have uneven surface, due to needless solder left on the footprint. It is then obligatory to remove the extra solder and, smoothen the pad's surface before soldering of a new fresh, functional IC. The solder wick, is also used for removing off, the extra deposited solder on, bare PCB pads, IC footprints, connector pins and anywhere on PCB where applicable. Choose the appropriate size of wick. Wick is available in different width as per application. Using wick with a significantly different width will make the solder removal more difficult. It is usually beneficial to keep several different widths at your workstation in order to be ready to desolder anything that you may encounter. Additionally, choose a tip for your soldering iron that is reasonably close in size to the wick that you are using. Make sure you do have solder paste before starting desoldering work, as paste makes the desoldering process effective and easy. Apply solder paste over the pads that needs to be cleaned from extra solder. Applying solder paste make the wicking process fast and convenient. Cut the used braided wire and always ensure to use the fresh solder braid piece. Weaking with used piece of braided wire cannot ensure proper desoldering. Place the wick over the solder to be removed and then place the hot soldering iron over the braid gently. Apply slight pressure and wait for the solder to melt. Don't get in too big of a hurry at this point. Allow the tip to dwell long enough on the wick to heat the wick and then the solder on the other side. You will see the wick begin to absorb the solder. Hold the tip and wick in place until the wicking action has stopped. Remove the soldering iron and braid at the same time. Removing the iron before removing the wick can cause the wick to become soldered to the board. If that does happen, reheat the braid so that you can remove it. Use a clean tip that you have just tinned with fresh solder to maximize heat transfer. Heat will be moving up the copper, so be careful not to burn yourself. Adding a little extra flux to the joint before applying heat can make the job even easier and faster. This will also help to make an older spool of wick work like new. Once the wick is saturated with solder, Trim it off and move to a new piece of the wick for your next desoldering. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.